So you were working in the food industry. What's wrong with the food industry from a green perspective? It's, it's, it's a difficult one because I suppose if, you, if, if the, the idea of making a business green doesn't come from the top, nobody along the way is really doing anything because they don't have to. Yeah. So that's why it is uh, surely so much easier for a small business owner or for any business owner to, if they've got this in them, their, themselves, and they decide that this is the way they want to live their lives and also to run their business, then it kind of, it goes down to everybody along the way and the whole team must li live this way and to run the business for them. But I suppose I never, I never noticed in all of the places I used to work that was not a, a, a thing at all, you know, because because there is, of course, you have to think about money, and I, I suppose I was able always to to spare part of the budget t towards being green, and I never felt like this is money wrongly spent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for example, whenever COVID came and co COVID brought us this um, a, the grant, ten thousand pounds, we never put a single penny from this money into our pockets straight away this went towards our van and because we had some other money um, put on the side towards the van we we just said that you know it was the luckiest moment somehow you know for many people it wasn't the luckiest moment but for us it was because we had this extra um, um, m money and we just decided that this is the only way for us to go and I suppose many people or many big businesses they just calculate different way. The money yeah. goes towards different things mm -hmm. instead of going towards green being green. So mm -hmm. you told me you've got a new walk-in fridge and you were talking about what a difference it's made. So do you want to ex open it up quickly? Show mm -hmm. us the inside. Yeah this is our new walk-in fridge. Okay. It was it was a kind of strange dream of a greengrocer yeah. to have it and uh, mm -hmm. finally it is with us we had it since uh, the beginning of this year mm -hmm. yeah and then uh, it is just a pretty incredible difference for us it's difficult for uh, I suppose for anybody else to understand how uh, a, a big difference it makes to uh, use just household <laughs> fridges and then come in the morning from the market with 50 boxes full of produce and you want first thing you want to do is just to or you need to do is to break it down and manage to squeeze it all in into five of your old household fridges yeah and now i just simply bring it from the market in the morning and i just throw it into the fridge on the shelves and and one fridge does better job in in the storage because it's just bigger and uh, also probably main thing is that the five small fridges they were consuming quite possibly two times or three times more electricity than this one because this one is uh, it's just been made for being efficient as well it works only I, I can tell that even on warm days it's so well insulated that it actually switches on every 10 minutes for a couple of minutes and then it just stays there like that and it's always cold and, the, and another thing is of course that the produce keeps so much better in it and it's also additionally I mean this is just a bigger picture that it is not only about literally this fridge here because it just affects so many different things for us because I don't have to go to the market so often anymore so you know it saves me time saves me money and saves you know fuel in this situation it is electric van so it's electricity but uh, you know if we can minimize it mm -hmm. any way we can we, we should um, and even you know th this this kind of things it just if you think about it in, in a bro broader picture it just makes such a great you know no waste for food no waste for time no waste for um, driving around 